Hilary Swank played Julie Pierce in the movie The Next Karate Kid, but a question has been posed. Should Julie be part of the ongoing cameos in Cobra Kai? It looks like the Miyagi-verse is running out of cameos. Could Julie Pierce be part of the cameo pool? While The Next Karate Kid failed in launching a new Karate Kid series, Cobra Kai did what The Next Karate Kid didn't and made it a movement. One of the biggest problems with The Next Karate Kid was that it ignored all the Daniel LaRusso films. Could they finally solve the problem decades later with Julie meeting Daniel in season 6, or even just a mention of her name? Given that Cobra Kai is often referred to by the creators as part of the Miyagi-verse, there is no reason why it couldn't happen. So let's make it happen. Unlike the 2010 Karate Kid reboot, the next Karate Kid featured Mr. Miyagi, and despite the lack of connections with Daniel or Johnny, was the closest thing to a Karate Kid 4. With Cobra Kai season 5 in the cards, it may be time for the Cobra Kai to finally revisit the next Karate Kid. The easiest way for Cobra Kai to introduce that character could be through season six. Well, my one wish was that you guys would come visit us in Boston. Oh, this is difficult. We have not left monastery for many years. They could establish that Daniel has always known Mr. Miyagi's other student. He just never mentioned her or met her. The next Karate Kid takes place after the Karate Kid Part 3, meaning that Daniel was likely in college during the events of the film, or at least that is how they could explain it. Mr. Miyagi never directly mentioned Daniel to Julie, at least not during the next Karate Kid. Could that have been done on purpose? But Daniel mentions Mr. Miyagi in Season 1, and the two had become like family and until he died. Wouldn't it be strange for Mr. Miyagi to not bring up Julie? I would think so. However, Daniel could have mentioned Julie at any point in Cobra Kai, so why hasn't he? Are they leaving it for later seasons? Let's not forget when Daniel needed help against Terry Silvers. He asked for Chosen's help and not for Julie's. Are you sure you just don't want to show me the scrolls? Now let us see how much you really know. It could be said that Julie stopped practicing karate at some point or that Daniel never actually got to meet her, which would set up their first interaction in Cobra Kai, if it so happens that way. Regardless, with the new combined dojo preparing for Cobra Kai Season 6's Sakai Taikai, Daniel could very well recruit Julie as a new sensei ahead of the global karate tournament. Come on, we have all seen Hilary Swank kick some butt in Million Dollar Baby. It could be out of the question. Another option for Cobra Kai Season 6 is that Daniel does not know about Julie, yet Julie knows about Daniel. It is unclear what happened to Julie after the next Karate Kid, but it can be assumed that she remained friends with Mr. Miyagi. I was trying to feed Angel. Angel? Brother, you act like Angel. Angel's a hawk, Mr. Miyagi. Hawk? It's a long story. It would be strange for Miyagi to mention Daniel to Julie, but not mention Julie to Daniel. Yet this could make for an interesting story either way. Wouldn't it be interesting if Julie was the one seeking Daniel's help? It would also flip the most recent Cobra Kai storylines. Recent Cobra Kai seasons have all been about friends and foes from Daniel LaRusso's past coming together to fight John Kreese and Terry Silver. Should the writers change direction? Either way, a Daniel and Julie alliance would assure that Cobra Kai's sixth season would avoid repetition, although having Daniel and Julie meet at the Sakai Taikai competition would be a bit too convenient. Cobra Kai has made unlikely crossovers work before, so who knows? What happened to Julie after Karate Kid 4 is a blank slate for Cobra Kai. The possibilities are endless for the character. Julie could have become a sensei like Mr. Miyagi and started her own dojo like Mr. Miyagi but no obvious connection to him, which is why Daniel never heard of the dojo. But that, of course, could could happen in the Season 6's Sakai Takai Tournament, or Julie could have become homeless, or MIA, or owning a retail shop. Again, possibilities are endless. Both Miyagi-Do Fang and Cobra Kai have been selected for the Sakai Takai, yet Cobra Kai Season 6 must feature new opponents if it wants to live up to the global tournament promise. Daniel, Johnny, and Chosen should be challenged not only by the Cobra Kai's villains audiences are already familiar with, 
but also by fighters from all over the world. That could include Julie. It would be quite a plot twist to have Daniel's students facing Julie's students, given that they were both trained by Mr. Miyagi. Cobra Kai has found ways to incorporate just about every major star of the Karate Kid franchise and give their characters chances to grow. As of Season 5's end, we've had every major villain that Daniel LaRusso has ever come across. But there's still one glaring omission in the guest star lineup that fans desperately want to see. Hilary Swank. The next Karate Kid star has said that she's still waiting on her call to be in the Netflix series, and Ralph Macchio has some thoughts on that. Macchio spoke to Cinema Blend and even discussed the movies that he wasn't a part of, including the next Karate Kid. So of course, he was asked about Hilary Swank's comments on not being called and whether he'd like to see her appear. Ralph Macchio wanted to make it clear that while he's one of the stars of Cobra Kai, having Hilary Swank appear in the series as Julie Pierce isn't up to him. That falls on the shoulders of the co-showrunners, who once told Cinema Blend that they may have discussed Hillary returning to the franchise. Mr. Miyagi! Mr. Miyagi, there's this loud bong going off and I couldn't sleep any longer. So... But those discussions evidently haven't resulted in a phone call of any kind. Riffing off the comments from the next Karate Kid star, Ralph Macchio had a few thoughts about whether she could appear in Cobra Kai. But he was quick to clarify that Hilary Swank's lack of appearance in Cobra Kai is not a slight at all, considering her invaluable contribution to the Miyagi-verse. My eyes are already open. What am I supposed to do? Hey! Focus, Julie-san. Makio insists that her role in the next Karate Kid should not be forgotten, even if the timing of any potential appearance remains up in the air. The actor also expressed that he doesn't know what the future holds for a potential swank guest spot, but if opportunities arise, then he believes they should be taken up. Ralph Makio can't give any guarantees, but it sounds like he'd expect Cobra Kai to offer Hillary Swank a chance to return should the story call for it, and the timing works out. Of course, we're still Still waiting on the official word that season six is happening, but hopefully that as well as a future swank appearance as Julie Pierce will be confirmed in the coming months. What did I do wrong? Julie San tried to kill cockroach. <laughs> what? Like you've never tried to kill a cockroach before? After all, we can't forget that Swank recently announced she's expecting twins, and fight scenes may not be on her to-do list right now. So we may have to wait a bit. I can imagine that she might not be down for any classic intense fight scenes. But with season six still unconfirmed, both fans and Makio are hopeful that an opportunity for Swank's return will arise. Until then, all we can do is cross our fingers and wait to see what happens next. So this is how Cobra Kai season six can have Hillary Swank's Julie Pierce and what Cobra Kai's Ralph Macchio thinks about Hillary Swank's comments about not being invited to the show. Okay, I confess, I killed a spider in my bedroom, but it was an accident. I even buried him and said a little prayer.